Hi, let's take a look at this problem taken from the team selection test for the Greek national team to take part in the Junior Balkan Mathematical Olympia 2019. It says, find all natural numbers x and n such that 3 times 2 to the x plus 4 equals n squared. Speaking of this contest, JPMO is actually a very good place to start if you want to know how problems in national level maps Olympia contests look like. So when I first saw this problem, the first thing I would do is to move forward to the, to the other side and factorize using the identity of difference of squares. So we would get n squared minus 4 equals 3 times 2 to the x. And of course we factorize it and we will have n plus 2 times a minus 2 equals 3 times 2 to the x. Now notice that the right hand side is actually just product of um, two prime powers so we can split the, this equation into two parts. You may say n plus 2 equals 3 times somehow of 2 let's say 2 to the x minus a and then n minus 2 is equals to some powers of 2 only. Okay, it really depends on uh, where, where the 3 goes to. The second case would be n plus 2 simply being a power of 2 and the factor 3 would belong to n minus 2. So we can write like this in this form where a is some non-negative integer. The most natural way to proceed would be to eliminate n, okay, so to reduce the number of variables. So we will again get two equations because we now have two cases. So 4 equals 3 times 2 to the x minus a minus 2 to the a, or this 4 will equal to 2 to the a minus 3 times 2 to the x minus a. Many people would want to factorize the side with powers of 2 because the left hand side is also a power of 2 but it's not as trivial as it seems we need to first know whether a or x minus a the two indices at the right hand side is larger so to play safe we divide it into three cases case one that if a is larger than or x minus a then we will have 2a minus x is positive. Okay, keep this in mind. We'll use this later. Then because x minus a is the smaller index, so we take out 2 to the x minus a. Now the two equations become 4 equals 2 to the x minus a times 3 minus 2 to the 2a minus x. Or 4 equals 2 to the x minus a, also this being the common factor, but the bracket term will be reversed, which is 2 to the 2a minus x minus 3. So now because 2a minus x is positive, then 2 to the 2a minus x is always even. So 3 minus it, or the number minus 3, must be an odd number. And now we know that 4 is just a power of 2, it does not contain any odd prime factor, so 2 to the x minus a must be 4, and the other term must be 1. Okay, then we can solve for x and a x minus a in this case is 2 and then 2 to the 2a minus x is 2 okay 2a minus x is 1 now for the case on the left these two equations are two linear equations in two unknowns and we can easily solve it by adding them in this case so solving a is 3 and then x is 5 now we put x equals 5 back into our original equation. Then we have 3 times 2 to the 5 plus 4 equals n squared. Left hand side is actually 100, so, and because n must be positive, 
we do not accept non-natural numbers, so n is 10 here. That's the first part. And for the other part, we can solve it in a similar way. x minus a is again 2, and then 2 to the 2 a minus x is 4. So 2 a minus x is then 2. Now, again, we have two linear equations in two unknowns, and we can add them up to solve for a. Here, a is 4, and so x is 6. Again, we put back x into equal 6 into the original equation. So 3 times 2 to the 6 plus 4 is n squared. The left hand side is 196, so n is 14. Now that's the first case. What about the second case? Case 2. If a is less than x minus a, here we have x minus 2a is positive. Again, we bear this in mind and use this later. Now the equation will become 4 equals 2 to the a because a is now the small index instead times 3 times 2 to the x minus 2a minus 1 or 4 equals 2 to the a times 1 minus 3 times 2 to the x minus 2a again reversed however we would not get any integral solutions here for the left case this part is at least 5 Okay, so surely we will not have any integral solutions here. As for the right side, the bracket term is even negative, not even positive. So again, no integral solution. So this case is done very quickly. The only thing left is that if a and x minus a are equal, so the two indices are equal, then we have again have two equations, 4 equals, this time is 2 times 2 to the a, because this time the two powers of 2 are actually equal, so we directly simplified it. Or 4 equals Okay, we, this time we minus it in the other way, which, is, which gives us negative values. Minus 2 times 2 to the a. So we quickly reject it. And for the other case, we will have a equals 1. Then x equals 2 because 1 equals x minus 1. So for this time, we put x equals 2 back into the equation. 3 times 2 to the 2 plus 4 is n squared. Now n here equals 4. So finally, we will have all solution pairs 2, 4, 5, 10, and 6, 14. Okay? That's all we will have. And so let's stop here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternative methods in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you for your support. See you next time.